and welcome back to Minecraft episode 84. 84 episodes in, and we're picking up right where we left off. I want to take, uh, right now I'm, I'm taking, uh, the opportunity and the, the means because I found this big gravel deposit and I'm making lots of flint or discovering lots of flint for the purpose of re-upping my arrow supply because we all know how bad it sucks to be out of arrows and yeah I have the potential to make over a hundred and thirty arrows right now and that's exactly what I'm gonna do because you know also happy Friday no yeah I said episode 84 right yeah happy Friday um, it's hard to believe that the week's over already even though I'm recording this uh, six days ago <laughs> I still have to you know be wise to the commentary but we're gonna do the episode 84 and 85 today and tomorrow I'm gonna do a bonus episode I haven't figured out yet what it is I'm gonna do but I think it'll be fun I wanna do something interesting like maybe with TNT or something and I'd like to get in the habit of making a Saturday bonus for you guys because you, you deserve it I mean you, you watch these videos and you always tell me how much you like them and I think it's great and some of you play on my server and you're really helping me out when you go to that website uh, and check out the information and get involved because you're helping yourself you are a great group of people and I know there's thousands of you so I couldn't be lying and I just think it's great so let's let's do something exciting here stop gravel mining plus I broke all my shovels so I kinda can't and I just broke the rules and I I believe I exhausted my torch supply and I really mean it this time I'm not just saying I did and I really did not know it's gone but I am going to make myself a lot of arrows and that's because <coughs> arrows uh, are awesome. Can't get enough of them arrows. And honestly, it's the only long-range weapon in the game, other than TNT cannons, which aren't practical for for uh, you know intense battles like the ones that you just experienced in yesterday in episode 83. So <laughs> you know it's tough. Yeah, that's the only long-range weapon you have. It is a very useful one. That's for damn sure. So, <clears throat> let's head back to my little workshop that I set up down here. And then we're going to go that way and explore the other arms of this cave. So far it's proving to be a pretty amazing experience. It's yielding a ton of resources. And, yeah, I dig out this, and I have another seven iron, so I'm just going to melt that down, too. The gravel, however, is going in the chest, because I don't need to carry around all that gravel. And I'm going to bring the cobble with me. So, let's, let's throw down these arrows here. Oh, yeah. I'm going to do it a 60, so that's done and awesome so now it's 104 if I had you know all these other feathers converted it'd be 148 total 104 plus 43 I'm liking those numbers I am also putting um, the iron most of it in the chest because if I get killed and something bad happens, such as the game is dumb, then I gotta I gotta start again. And <laughs> I'm not interested in doing that. Did I just hear a skeleton? <coughs> I can't really tell because I have the sound turned way down so that it's it's not as loud for you guys. 
but I definitely do hear a skeleton, and I just realized I, uh, I'm gonna need more picks. What I will do for uh, safety's sake, keep that iron and put one of these picks down here. Now we're ready! Again, again, again. So, let's uh, get rid of this little bit of coal here. Okay. Let's figure out what is this direction. <coughs> coal, awesome. Iron, awesome. I'd say I'm about halfway to lava, so just one more, like a pit or something that goes down 20 blocks, <coughs> and we'll be in. <coughs> sorry, we'll be in diamond country. And another brown mushroom. Yay! Where are the toadstools? Whoa! I think that's funny. Don't see he's trying to hide behind that wall, but he was too exposed. You know what's also possible, and this is really, really stretching it more than my other theory about the mobs gaining intelligence. I wonder if they actually. Well, this would be gaining intelligence too, but it would be a, a different way. I wonder if the mobs actually watch. Like, you know how sometimes they just stop and look around and kind of stare at you? I wonder if they actually observe you and learn how you move. Now that would be really, really sick, you know, because then you'd have to be come up with new ways to, to destroy these things, because that, oh, I asked for a pit and it was granted to me. It looks like it dead ends. But that's okay, because, uh, what, whoa, yeah, like I said, I didn't think so. Oh yeah, I'm definitely in diamond country now. Or at least redstone country. So let's see what's happening down here. In the, this is like the third level of this cave. Third tier pit. Because <laughs> the first one I found by knocking out a wall, the second one I found by knocking out a wall, and now this. Creeper! Hey! Just so you know, you're dead. Let's light up that area. I should have kept that water there, but I didn't. And now the mobs can find me. So what to do? Well... I'll just light it up and continue with this exploration. You're dead. Did I hear a, a slime? I can't tell. No, spider. Creeper. What do you want? Creepers are kind of dumb as far as navigation. But hey, if I had legs like that, I might not be able to, to navigate myself very good anyway either. I've got to be close to the lava, man, because that, that cave entrance was at the surface. I didn't, uh... I was, I was already at sea level when I started it, so... I should be hitting lava any time now. I also wonder if anybody's taking lessons from me when they see me finding these caves. You always, if you say on your map, I never get any good caves, and then you watch me break a wall or two, oh, and here's more of it. That kind of... You know, kinda is one of the ways that I do it. Now I know sometimes the caves are just, you know, staring you in the face. You don't have to really do anything to find them, but sometimes you gotta do a little digging. And the cave will be revealed to you. See, it sounds like the spiders are over here. Like in the wall. So I gotta I gotta run around this. Yeah. It really sounds like they're in the wall here, so let's see. Maybe I found a dungeon. That would be cool. I don't think I found a dungeon in the whole length I've done this series yet. It also sounds like they're above my head. So we dig out a little hole here that they can't fit through. <laughs> Now 
I'll light it up. It is a dungeon! Yes! <laughs> but the question is, what kind? Because I hear spiders and skeletons. Don't tell me it's a double dungeon. I would just poop my pants. Alright, I, I discovered underneath the dungeon, and that's that's okay, but I just have to dig out the perimeter of this thing so that I can get a vantage point for killing these things. But what kind is it? Like I said, I hear two different mob types. I hear a lot of spiders, though. Like, a lot of spiders, so it's possible that, that it's that kind of dungeon. But we're not going to know until we dig it out. But that is awesome. Looks like I found the corner of this thing. Put it on the coal, you dummy. Let's see what we've got here. Huh. That's interesting. Alright, here we go. Oops, that was that was a dumb move. Okay. Yep, it's definitely dungeon, obviously, because of the cobblestone and there's the spawner. But what is it spawning? I know if I put a light in there I can discourage it from spawning as much. There's a chest. What's in the chest? Ooh, health food and buckets and string. <laughs> Maybe there's another chest in there, too. Not that that's disappointing, but, you know. Alright, spiders. What do you want with me? You want to be dead, right? There goes one. Yeah, this is probably a spider spawning dungeon, which is okay. I don't mind. But it seems like this thing has been packing itself full since I've discovered this area. That was the main reason why I wanted the sound on, too, because <coughs> with the sound you can hear through the walls, and then you have a better chance of discovering something. I hope I'm not too close, because they can put the hurt on you if you're too close. Let's dig out this one. Okay, now they can get through, but not really. Die, spiders! I, what The whole goal of this dungeon thing is I have to get a torch right next to the dungeon spawner so that they stop spawning. Because they don't spawn if you've got a, a torch right next to it. And I'm pretty convinced that it is a spider spawner, but... That one did too. Yeah, see if you have some light in there, they'll spawn like one to every once in a while. But, alright, do it. Yes! Okay, good. I got that, but there's still the matter of the zombies. I don't see them, but this dungeon might not be encased. It is encased. This dungeon was completely encased in solid rock. How do you like that? I would have never found it without the sound. And let me get this iron quick. There you go. This one. And this one. And this one, and this one, and wow, and this one. Don't worry, I know, oh man, it's over 14 minutes. What's in the chest? Oh yeah! Two gunpowder, more health food, and a useless saddle. Well, this has been a really, really awesome time. And let's uh, go ahead and just kill this. You also notice that there's no spider in there anymore, spinning. I don't know what that's all about, but it's dead. And I thank you guys for watching. Enjoy your Friday. And we'll see you in episode 85. Oh, yeah.